Writing my PhD thesis, I realized how difficult it was to find relevant information from the vast amount of scientific literature out there. At Antler, I found Mikkel, who had worked extensively in the software industry and knew how to build the product and build the backend as well. And that was the start of this company called Cypel. Researchers and scientists spend a lot of time going through scientific literature in the quest for advancing science. It is difficult for them to keep up with the huge amount of information getting published every day. For researchers, this is time that competes with time spent on experiments and grant writing and also a potential risk for missing something really important. Take COVID-19 as an example. When you search for COVID-19 in the PubMed database, you get almost 90,000 articles and all these articles have been published within a span of a year. So existing tools make it cumbersome to find relevant information for researchers and scientists. This picture here gives another view of the problem. Each of the dots here represents an article and each of these clusters consists of articles grouped around a key word. The articles are sorted but not related. So what we are trying to solve is to connect these dots. Time wasted on searching and finding relevant scientific content from the enormous amount of research published increases the cost of drugs and time to market, leading to huge amount of wasted resources and time. Finding relevant information does not have to be complex and cumbersome, and it certainly does not have to be like finding a needle in a haystack. At Cypel, we use AI and state-of-the-art natural language processing to visualize and contextualize scientific content in a very intuitive way, which is easy to use and keeps track of your individual searches within the area you're working on. So let's build a map to find relevant information using COVID-19 as an example. As you log in to the platform and search for COVID-19, it will lead to a list of results and to a knowledge base. When selecting a node, we can follow the relationships between the entities and traverse the knowledge map and build to say something like a mind map. For example, here you can find the virus SARS-CoV-2 which causes COVID-19 and that it has a zoonotic origin. All of this information is automatically extracted from thousands of articles, saving thousands of wasted hours going through them. And the market opportunity to solve this problem is huge. The total addressable market is around $22 billion and will be able to operate in an obtainable market of $1.1 billion, which is growing at a CAGR of about 14%. Our business model is based on a subscription-based model payable yearly. Our primary customers will be the pharma and biotech companies, and our users will be researchers and scientists working within those companies. We already have an MVP in place, and during Q1 this year, we'll have the second pilot running with a mature product line. Going forward towards the end of Q2 and the beginning of Q3, we aim to have two paying customers. During this time, we plan to raise a seed round to expand our team and introduce new product features catering to user needs. Together with my brilliant co-founder, Mikael, we have the right mix of tech and research expertise to push the engine of growth and make our vision a reality. We would be glad to talk to investors interested in this space and advisors with expertise in B2B SaaS products in the life sciences and anyone interested in the product and growth of the company to reach out to us. Thank you.